everyone, welcome back to another episode of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Thanks for tuning in. So last time we had a heated discussion with Dylan that pretty much took the entire episode, actually, now that I realize. Um, but then we did our end of chapter review and we starting, we're starting chapter six. So let's see how we decide to spend our day today. December 23rd, Tuesday morning. I'm woken up by the sound coming from the TV. It was on? Why was it on? That's scary. Mila, did Mila come in? Did she turn it on? Why was it on? I didn't, did I leave it on? <laughs> I'm scared now. And that was tomorrow's weather. Huh? What's that noise? I must have fallen asleep in front of the TV. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now for today's special feature. We take a look at the jewelry robberies that rocked LA two decades ago. Oh. Wait, two decades ago? But they're back now. That's why they've been talking about them recently. Condor, right? I've been so confused. I thought... I don't know, I, is Condor and Niall being, it's being brought up separately, but are they also related? I don't know, I'm getting confused. It was apparent that a crime ring was stealing jewels and selling them on the black market, but the group itself vanished from the face of the earth some 13 years ago. The LAPD are investigating the current spate of jewelry robberies in the area and considering the possibility that they may be connected to these past robbers. This is Robert Harrison for 5 News, signing off. Huh. As I try to pull myself out of bed, I feel the alcohol still lingering in my stomach. It all comes back to me. I remember talking to Dylan, getting blackout drunk because I hated talking to him, then being invited to the bar by Tony for a few drinks. Oh, so it was showing that! It was showing that! Oh, that's... that's nice! Did you have a good time? <laughs> As I try to get my thoughts from the day before in order, I make my way over to the window and open the blinds. That was him performing music, right? Maybe? The brightness flooding in through the window, tiny window sets my room aglow. I lean against the window with my eyes half closed, my body bathed in light. As I gradually open them, I see the familiar backdrop come into focus before me. It's a shame that my days of seeing this first thing in the morning are numbered. Now that I think about it, my mom must have seen a similar sight. After my dad was killed, on the morning mom and I planned to leave this town, she stood in front of the window in the room she'd once shared with dad. She said nothing, just stared into the distance. Aww. Damn. Damn. The things about, you know, dealing with family and loss, it hurts, man. I splash a couple of handfuls of water onto my face. Then throw on some clothes. You got this, buddy. Ugh, damn. My throat's so dry. I can't believe I got drunk on a Monday night. Ugh, I'm such a bum. There's only one remedy for this. A trip to the cafe. It's gonna make me so hungry. I'm actually really hungry right now, and I'm totally gonna stuff my face after this recording because, oh my god, I'm starving. <laughs> Let's see what delicious foods you're gonna make me jealous with today, Hyde. What do you guys guess it's gonna be? If it's for breakfast, um, probably just the typical bacon and eggs. I'm gonna guess that. He, he does respect his sweets. He does like his sweets, which is great. Oh my Jesus Christmas, that scared the crap out of me. Is that the elevator? Huh? Did they fix it? Oh my god, hello! This is actually coming into play. There's gonna be a dead body, I swear. I promise you, I'm just kidding. Hello, Mags! Wow, is that a little a corner booth inside the elevator? I think I've only seen that in some like movies or something. I haven't seen an actual corner booth or a seat in an elevator before. I might have many, many, many years ago, now that I'm thinking about it, but see, I, I'm not sure if I'm mixing that up with the memory of me seeing a movie. I don't know. Well, hello there, Mr. Hyde. Looks like the elevator's working again. After all the inconvenience, it has finally been repaired. You and the other residents will be able to make use of it use of it from today onwards. It'll certainly make moving things out much easier for the, the residents on, <coughs> excuse me, higher floors, which is everybody, because Margaret's the only one on the first floor. <laughs> it's a shame that it got repaired so close to when we will have to vacate, though. Even so, this should make it more convenient for everyone when they move their things. I'm sure it will. However, every silver lining has its cloud. The vending machine in the lobby is to be removed tomorrow. Not my fizzy pop, cool pop. I knew what it was. It's my favorite drink. Of course I know what it's called. Shut up. I see. Well, that's a shame. I can't tell you how often I made use of the old thing. 
You were a freaking, uh, you were a frequent customer, were you? It sounded like I said freaking, but uh, I just mispronounced it. You were a frequent customer, were you? Mrs. Patrice, could you delay removing the machine until the last day instead? I feel like, I feel like that's a little bit unreasonable, Kyle, but... <laughs> I love the cool pop from that machine. I think I'm addicted to the stuff. Much as I'd love to do so, Mr. Hyde, I'm afraid I can't. Yeah, it's not that easy to just schedule, like, a removal of a giant thing. You have to take- it takes a lot of planning and money. She can't just push that aside for you, Kyle. I fully appreciate that all of the tenants are under a lot of stress and strain, but please don't forget that I am as well. I have so many things to do before then. Exactly! I wouldn't want there to be any last-minute trouble before I hand the place over. By trouble, do you mean threats? Ha! <laughs> No! No! That's gonna get me a game over! No! Has there been any trouble before? Has there been any trouble before? None whatsoever! Well, that's certainly good news then. And before you ask, Mr. Hyde, I haven't brought up the little indiscretion from before. Which one was that? I've, I've probably confor- like, uh, done a lot of them. I've probably done a lot of in indiscretions. What's happening? To be completely honest with you, I'd sooner forget about the whole thing. <sighs> What's wrong, Mrs. Patrice? Oh, it's my head. Are you all right? I do apologize. Oh, I sometimes have episodes like this. I get a really sharp pain in my head all of a sudden. Oh, I'm going to have to leave you for now. I hope you feel better. Is it migraines? Go take some painkillers and drink some water for that. And go rest. Mrs. Patrice heads back to her room. So it looks like our beloved vending machine is going to disappear tomorrow. I'm more concerned about the vending machine than I am of Mrs. Patrice. Oh, you poor thing. I mean, I don't- do I have any more coins at this point? We took some out of something, didn't we? Uh, quarters. Do I want another one? Oh, I've got seven of them with me. I should just- here, look, I mean, if it's going away tomorrow, let's get him a drink. Uh, here we go. I'm pretty thirsty. Maybe I should get something to drink. Uh, I'm trying to? Uh, I'm trying to. Hi, I'm trying to? Is he just gonna say the same thing? I'm pretty thirsty, maybe I should get something to I'm trying to help you, bud. I'm trying to help you. There's a notice on the vending machine, and it's gonna be about the special promotion, which we already did. Buy something from the machine, be sure to check the reverse of the bottle cap, winners will receive fabulous prizes, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good luck. Fabulous prizes, I should buy some juice. We already got it. Why don't you get something to drink? I'm trying to help you, buddy. I'm, I'm trying to help you get something to drink. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me try one more time. Uh, maybe a different section. No, that's it. It's the whole thing. That's the whole- Okay. Alright, buddy. You're lost. I'm the one here trying to help you get what you want before it goes away, but like, if you don't want to, though, if you want to disobey me- Oh, closed? Oh, no. No point knocking on a closed cafe. It looks like I'm too early. The cafe is not open yet. No sense in wasting a trip, though. I'll just grab something from the trusty machine. I was trying to help you do that, you idiot. <laughs> Kyle, you're so mean to me. I'm just trying to help. Okay, cool. So let's grab something from the machine. Do it. You gonna do it now? Uh, maybe I should get something. How do I get him to... How do I get him to get something from the machine? How do I get... So oh! I'm the idiot. I am the one who is the dum-dum. I am the one who is the dum-dum. I'm supposed to do this, aren't I? That's annoying. Why don't you just like let me zoom in and then put in a quarter? Ugh, anyways. Whatever. Okay, so obviously he likes Cool Pop, so I'm gonna get him Cool Pop, but I kind of want to get him to try some of the other drinks. I have a lot of quarters, though. Um, He likes the Cool Pop. I want to get him to try something else. Try the Apple one. I want you to, I want you to, you know, can't always have the same thing. Sometimes you need to try something new. I like that it plays the you solved it music, even though we literally just got ourselves a drink. If only that played that every time I accomplished something. If I got, if I ordered some food, if I made something, if I just get in my car, you know? Good old fashioned apple juice. I open the bottle and glug the whole thing down. Oh, sounds so refreshing right now. Nice. Refreshing. Do you want anything else? Ah, did I pick a winner? This bottle cap. Ah, it was just an ordinary bottle cap. Better luck next time, I guess. Are we still doing the thing? Can we get more prizes? Maybe if I- maybe if I- Can I spend all of my quarters on this? It should say I have six quarters now. Oh my- Can I actually spend it and get every single drink? Guess I'm not really thirsty right now. Oh, okay. Alright, buddy. Well, um, we're too early, so let's go. It's my pager. 
Good timing. I have nothing to do right now. I'd better head back to my room. I wasn't able to satisfy my hunger, so I satisfied my thirst. And now, I have nothing to do, even though I could totally be looking for a new place to live. I could be doing lots of things right now. But, well, what can I tell you? <laughs> well, who's stopping me? What is it? Huh? Tony? What's up? Morning! Hey. Have you been out? Just been to the lobby to get something to drink. Woke up with one hell of a dry throat. <laughs> Sounds like someone can't take their liquor. I can still feel it sloshing around. <laughs> That's funny, man. Hey, watch it. Want to clock you in the face? Ah, you gotta admit, you didn't really have that much. Maybe not, but after hearing your song, I think all that bourbon went straight to my head. Good excuse. Well, it was good for me to have an audience for once. It really helped me sing. It really was him performing. That's great. I'm glad that we went to support him. That's awesome. Hey, Tony. Man, what's up? Why is it, why is it, we erased him from existence for like, hey, Tony, for that remark, I erase you from existence. I am God. Do not defy me. Last night, I had the pleasure of listening to the latest song he's written. Oh, this is nice. Aww. Everyone can fall in love, but not everyone can keep up with it. Oh, baby. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It wasn't half bad. Your song, I mean. Oh? Don't act so surprised. I'm not so proud that I can't compliment someone on a fine piece of work, you know. So it appealed to you. Yeah, it did. Is that bad? No, but I guess that means it's not gonna make it big to- oh, Excuse me! Tony, I'm about to toss you outside the second floor window right now. You want that? You want me to make it happen? I can make that happen. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh man, just yanking your chin. Uh-huh, sure. Sure, what about I rip that beard right off your face? I'm just seriously stoked that you like my song, that's all. Just say that then, don't mess with me, jeez. Do you know how hard it is for Kyle to give somebody a heartfelt compliment? You know how hard it is for him to, for him to do that? Don't mess with him, dude. Christ. You've got a radio in your room, right? Yeah, I got one. Why? Have you ever listened to a show called Rock and Soul? Can't say I have. Do me a favor and listen to it today. Truth is, I got a call from one of their producers that I used to know. He promised to try out a demo tape I sent. Says he'll think what the uh, says he'll see what the audience thinks. Oh, that's great! That's very exciting. Your song's gonna be on the radio? Yeah, it's been quite a while. It'll be on at 11 a.m. I'm heading out now to see if I can find somewhere with the radio switched on. That way, I can see how uh, how the people listening react when it comes on. Aww, Tony seems to be in high spirits as he leaves. That's nice. That's nice. I'm happy for him. Rock and soul. Uh, 11 o'clock, huh? I suppose I could find the time to give it a listen. I suppose I, ma your majesty, can deign, you know, some time. Mm, whatever. Alright. Great. That's nice. Looks like they're getting a little closer. And he's, he's, he's going straight and achieving his dreams. That's great. Working towards it step by step. You know? That's great. Okay, let's talk. Time to give Rachel a call. Hello, good morning, my lovely. Red Crown, how may I help you? Hi, Rachel. It's me. What's up? I've uncovered some info about on Condor like you asked. It seems that the symbol Hotel Cape West used was that of a condor. What? Was I confusing? Did they not say that the name of the jewel thief ring was Condor in the beginning? Am I totally mixing up information? I thought this is what that was. Huh? Their symbol? Yes. When the hotel was still in business, they designed a mark in the shape of a condor. It was the official symbol of Hotel Cape West. That's interesting. There's something else, Kyle. Something I'd like to ask you. It's been on my mind for a while now. What is it? Hmm? -mm. Sure. What is it? It's Ed. What, 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 what? He's out at the moment, meeting with some friend of his from the LAPD. He told me he was meeting this friend to get more information on Frank Raver, like you asked. And? Well, when you asked about Frank Raver yesterday, Ed told you that he'd heard the name, but didn't know the guy. He was lying! He was lying! That's right. I'm pretty sure he was lying to you, Kyle. He was acting real strange after that call. He pulled an old note out of one of his drawers, opened it up, and just stared at it. I heard him mutter something under his breath, too. 
It sounded like, why now? Sounds like there's more to Ed and Frank's relationship than they're letting on. I get the same feeling. That's why I thought I'd let you know. Thanks, Rachel. I appreciate that. You made the right call. Oh, and another thing. You'll be pleased to hear that Mila's staying at my place now. I see. I was wondering if you could spare some time to go for a meal with us tomorrow night. That sounds amazing! I would love that! It'll be the first Christmas Eve you'll have spent time with her. I think it'd be nice to get together this year. Yeah. Anyway, I'll call you again, Kyle. That sounds amazing! I'm already getting all tingly thinking about it. That sounds wonderful. I would love that. Oh, it's already 11. Time to listen to the song. That was fast. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. 11 o'clock. Guess Rock and Soul's gonna be starting about now. Okay, how do we find it? Quick, quick, quick. I gotta do it. I gotta support Tony. Here we go. We're stomping over. High speeds. Better switch on the radio. Have a listen. Um, okay. Could he, couldn't he have at least told me what station it was on? Um. Hello? Oh, I'm an idiot, sorry. Okay, I'll have to go back upwards because I missed it. Hmm? I guess it's back up there. Come on, faster, faster. Go, you can do it. Now none of the stations are working, what's going on? Hello, oh. Ooh. We open today on Rock and Soul with this inspirational track. This is the latest track from everyone's favorite rocker, Tony Wolf. I'm sure you remember, remember Wolf as the man who caused quite a stir with his debut album. This time, Wolf shocks us with a calm, melodious ballad for the Christmas season. Everyone, listen up. Here's Belief. And stay tuned for even more hits. Aww. That sounds nice. So, this is Tony's song. Not a bad song. What did Tony tell, him, tell me last night? Aww. I'd really like to release another record. If I can't get any interest from a record label, I'll just have to put it out on my own. Problem is, then I gotta scrape together the cash. Ugh, it's times like this I wish I could just win the lottery or something. I think I'll grab the chance and go get a coffee or something at the cafe. Aww, wow, did we spend a whole hour listening to that song? We were just so entranced by it. I mean, it was only probably four minutes, five minutes tops. What were we doing that whole time? How did we spend a whole hour doing that? Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, honey, <laughs> you said you were hungry after like four minutes of listening to the song. You just sat around for like 50 minutes, 55 minutes not doing anything, you're like, okay, maybe now's a good time to actually go eat, probably. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? Okay, it's all up to me to actually get you to drink things, eat things. You just won't do it on your own, huh? Hmm? Oh, hello, it's you. Oh, darn, I thought I did quite well. Charles, what's the problem? Are you having troubles again? It seems I missed out on the prize. The bottle cap prize? Or, oh, the, the crossword one? So you, enter, uh, so you entered the crossword prize draw, huh? Of course. Especially since there's a thousand dollars to be won. If I won, I could afford to buy a brand new camera to use for filming. I guess things didn't go my way this time, though. I'm thinking we're gonna win, but we're gonna give it to Tony. That's probably what's gonna happen. Bad luck. I'll see you later, Mr. Hyde. Charles finishes talking and walks away. I get it, though. Cameras are freaking expensive, just like my microphone. Also really expensive. You know, the tools you need for artistic stuff. I get it. I get it. Good morning, Mr. Hyde. Hey, Claire. What's today's coffee? It's a mocha from Yemen. It has a distinct bitterness with a strong flavor. I'm sure you'll like it, Mr. Hyde. I'll take one. Black. You got it. Hey, Claire. Today's the day the prize draw results come out, right? We finally get to see who the winner is. Right. The results are over there on the wall. If it's us, then she's very good at hiding her reaction. All right. I see them now. I like how violently it zoomed in. Did you see that? Okay, thanks. Claire moves away and heads towards the kitchen. Yeah, if it's us, then she's hiding her reaction quite well. Well, she did, she did have a beaming smile right at the very end, but um, she's always beaming uh, you know, at us, so that wouldn't have been any different. 
So, Kyle Hyde. There's a note pinned to the wall. Unless it's Tony. Unless it's Tony. <gasps> Is that me? Oh, hold on. I'm getting really excited. I like that that drawing's still there. Is that, I'm number 53, aren't I? Is that me? Uh, 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 I'm getting too excited. <gasps> That's me. That's me. We won. We won the thousand dollars. Okay, here's the winning number. Now, where did I put my entry slip? That's me! Wow! I won? Is this thing for real? He's so happy. He's so happy. He is so happy. He's never that happy. I mean, of course, anybody be excited to win a thousand dollars. I'm so happy for you, bro. I'm so excited for you, man. Oh, here you go. Here's my entry slip. Oh, wait, I wanted to, hello? I wanted to talk to, excuse me? <laughs> Uh, excuse me, let's talk, let's speak. Hello? Hi, I'd like to claim my thousand buckaroonies, please! Hey, Sydney. So? How'd you do? I won, I won, of course, I am the main character. Everything goes my way, mostly. Here you go, take it! See for yourself? I passed Sydney my entry slip. Just a minute, this number! Looks like your luck's in, Mr. Hyde! So, I have got some luck left after all. Congratulations, Mr. Hyde! Here's your check! Yay! Uh, I receive a check for $1,000. <gasps> I'm glad it was you that won. Oh, he's so happy! He just had a big smile! Hope the extra cash comes in handy. It will, it will. Whether We probably need to, we, we are also very short on cash, so we need to help ourselves too. Sorry, uh, sorry about the wait. Here's a cup of today's coffee. Can we get some food though? Make sure you take in the beautiful aroma while you're drinking it. Yeah, I will. Oh, Mr. Hyde. Yeah? Can I ask you a favor? Well, this is a little out of the blue, but sure, go ahead. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. No problem, if you think I can help somehow. Not here though. Ooh, what is it? I'd rather my dad did, he didn't hear. Uh, okay. So where can we talk then? The billiard room, for, so that we can actually use it for something. Come into the kitchen a little later, and we can talk there. But make sure he doesn't see you trying to get in. Got it. Suspicious! Oh, I want to know what she wants to talk about. Claire moves away and heads towards the kitchen. Okay, but let's continue with this in the next episode. Ooh, juicy, juicy. We didn't even get a scene of him enjoying his coffee today. I wanted to see him enjoy his coffee and food, at, you know, to celebrate the, the huge achievement, the huge prize he just got. Anyways, either way, I'm super excited for him. Um, again, he does, he is also in a financially difficult situation, so honestly, if he can just help himself with that, I think that's great. If he, sh uh, you know, chooses to share it with Tony, that's also great. Um, uh, yeah, join me next time. This is Axis, over and out.